the United House Handicap Gold Cup Chase is next. It's a great three handicap. And we've got one of those big old fields that we used to get back in the SO6 days. A good 18 runner field for this. And it's a three mile up. And at the top we've got Nightclubber for Craig Beck with world class David Hooley, The Shepherd, Josh Sutherland, Hard Hysteria, Leon Van Rensburg, South Zeller, Manor, Darren Thompson, Woodlands, Leon Van Rensburg, The Devastator, Josh Sutherland, Verd Ocean, Darren Thompson, Lucky Jack, Badger Aid Hogan, World Party, David Hooley, Galway Dancing, David Robertson, Look Sharp, Martin Lidham, Blazer Trail, Craig Beck with Tower Amlets, and Bring Me Look for Graham Clutterbook, Violets No Weighty. For Alex Cherry and Jim Harris has got the bottom pair, Orchid Heartbeat and Mesha here agenda. So I feel like 18, pretty much everybody involved in this one. And called in and away. And a short run to the first, which they've all got over nicely. And Lucky Jack on the inside. It's just about the early leader, but now being usurped by the Devastator and Tower Amlets. Look sharp is also close up to the Verd Ocean as they get to the second. Bit of a sticky jump there by the Devastator. Seeing that one just drop back into the pack and allow Tower Amulets to go into a clear lead. The Devastator now, after regaining his equilibrium, being driven back up into a closer second. And those two are slightly detached from the rest of the pack who are just about headed by Bring Me Luck as they get to the fourth. So over fence four they go. Mistake there at the back by Violet's No Weighty. Tower Amlets, who's got the lead then by about a length or so to the Devastator in second. Those two were running a little wide on the track. They've now cut in to the rail on this turn, which is what most of them appear to be doing. The horse is running widest and a lot of them is the top weight night clubber. Um, as they make their way towards the next one. I don't think it is the top weight night clubber. I think it's Blazer Trail. Craig Beckwith's got two and there's a fall of it. And it's World Party that's gone. So David Hooley having a strange start to the day. He pulled up in the first race. He's fallen in the third, but he won the second. I suppose if you won one in three, you'd take it. And they get over the ditch. And they're all safely over that one. The Devastator has now gone on into the lead. So the usual sight of a Joshua Sutherland horse in the lead. As they all get over fence eight. And they're pretty well strung out already. And they've still got well over two miles to go. So they're not even a third of the way through their journey yet uh, we've lost just the one world party but the devastator despite a couple of mistakes has been in the lead by about four lengths tower amlets is second the second josh of the north the shepherd has moved through into third then look sharp just about fourth in between the two leon horses heart hysteria and woodlands as they get over the ninth then after that padre hogan's lucky jack in the yellow on the inside of the second graham clutterbuck horse bring me luck and after that one, Salt Salam and Nora in the maroon with the white sleeves for Darren Thompson as they take the fence. It'll be the last on the next circuit. And he's gone there. Woodlands is gone. So, a bit of a surprise there as one of Leon's crash head. So two of the big guns have lost one of their runners as they caught past the totalisator board, past the big screen and the winning post, and now they head out for a complete circuit of the Ascot track and it's the Devastator who's got the lead by about three lengths to Tower Hamlet's in second and the Shepherd in third two length gap then to Hard Hysteria and Look Sharp who's being ridden along then Bring Me Luck and Satsala Manor then Galway Dancing and Lucky Jack World Class is next with Orchid Heartbeat leading the next little group Nightclub on that one's inside and the second Craig Beckwith was now moved over to the rail that's Blazer Trail Verd Ocean's on that one's outside as they get to the 11th and then the back two of the Second, Jim Harrison holds Mesha here, Angels, and finally, Violet's no weighty at the back for Alex Cherry. So, racing towards the next, then, and this reasonably well strung outfield headed by the Devastator by three lengths to Tower Amlets in second and the Shepherd in third. Over this ditch they go. Safely to the other side of the ditch with the Devastator continuing to lead. Tower Armour still second, the Shepherd still third. Galway Dunton on the outside is now in fourth. Look sharp on the inside of Bring Me Look. Well, let's just drop back a little bit there. Is Hard Hysteria. World Class is trying to get a little bit closer. Orchid Heartbeat also trying to run on with Verd Ocean and Seltzer Lama Nort. Looking towards the back, Violet's No Weighty 
is still the black marker. They're inside the final mile now, getting down towards the business end of the race. You can see the stand in the distance, that's where they're headed, and they've got six and a half furlongs to go. And the Devastator is in the lead. Over the 15th leads by two lengths to Tower Hamlets, who's now trying to get closer than the Shepherd. Look sharp, Galway dancers. They take the 16th, just four more left to take their net. And it's Devastator in the lead from Tower Hamlets. Over the final ditch, they go. Really good jump there by Tower Hamlets with the de The Devastator is still the lead. Look at this, come round the outside. Verdost as they get over to third last. Mistake by David Robertson's Galway dancers. Seeing that one, probably lost its chance. But it's the Devastator on the inside. Verdost around the outside. Then Bring Me Looks also coming through with a run. Now the Shepherd is next. Tower Hamlets been caught a bit flat footed. Uh, hard hysteria is running on. Look sharp, looks to be going backwards, as does Galway dancing. But but it's Verdos who's hit the front then. They've got three furlongs to go. They've got two fences to take. And Verdos has gone too clear over the second. That stood off it. Oh, a mistake and a fall there for Bring Me Looks Gone. Here comes Hard Hysteria coming through to challenge. It's Verdos in the lead from Hard Hysteria in second. Then comes the Shepherd, the Devastator. Galway Dancing has got a second wind from absolutely nowhere. Also, Walking Heartbeat is running on well now as they come down towards the final fence. And Galway Dancing has jumped himself back into the lead from the Devastator who's trying to get back into it, but it's Galway Dancing who had just about written off a fence or so ago. Galway Dancing's in the lead, he's been hard pressed by the Devastator and Tower Hamlets, and then Devastator's beginning to get back up on the inside, and then Devastator is going to take you. What a topsy turvy finish the Devastator into Tower Hamlets, Galway Dancing, then Verd Ocean. And all the way back to Volus, no waiting. A mighty odd race in the fact that the two horses that disputed the lead most of the time or were in the first two most of the way dropped away coming into the straight and then got back into it again so a strange sort of race really with Galway dancing looking beaten then looking all over the winner and then getting pegged back again by the early leaders so a mighty strange race there and the devastator takes it to second one of the day for Joshua Sutherland and pulls him six clear I think seven maybe of Leon now at the top of the trainer's tree. Second, we'll come back in a second. I guess Tower Hamlet's for Graham Clutterbuck. Gore Dancing for David Robson was third. Verd Ocean, Darren Thompson was fourth. And Heart Hysteria for Leon Van Rinsburg was fifth. <laughs> 